Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick reading, a quick reading for you. I hope it resonates. If it does, go over to the website, book your reading there. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we've been getting some real emotional, deep healing type of readings today okay and this is the ninth month of the year so it's about closure so that you can go into something new okay um the tenth month which is a one so you can kind of redefine yourself or start the redefining uh process uh therefore in the in the new year january um you'll see some some fruit uh you'll see some harvest something laid there um It'll, it'll be three months later, you know, roughly, and um, you, should, you should see some manifestation. Um, you should have created something new. Uh, the new year isn't always about start on the new year, but it's really start um, in October, you know. Uh, anyway, well, that's a whole nother conversation. Let's keep going. All right, so um, somebody is a... Uh, not interested in healing okay because it came out in reverse but somebody needs to heal that dark place and it's very dark okay because um it could have something to do with sexual abuse now you could be the abuser cancer or you could have been the abused the victim whatever side you're on we're not here to judge because it looks like somebody wants peaceful resolution to this. Somebody can't move forward with the five of swords. They can't move forward until they go backwards. You know, because we got the six of cups showing up in reverse here. Um, meaning that um, somebody is not connecting backwards. Somebody wants to forget about the past, forget about the trauma of the past. It didn't happen, push it down, repress it, but it's going to resurface. It's with you. You're carrying it. So it's eventually going to come out, all right? Uh, think about if you had a very heavy backpack on your back and you had to carry it with you. Um, you just didn't get rid of it, but you just, it's with you. You're carrying it around in life. You go to work with it. You shower with it. You, everything with it, right? And um, you just keep saying, I'm just going to forget that it's there. I'm just going to, it's there, but I'm going to forget it's there. That's the trauma that maybe some of you have gone through or someone around you has gone through. And somebody needs to do the healing work. Um, because it's, it's messing with relationships now. It has you questioning yourself, your motivation, your sexual orientation. Um everything it has you questioning you know it, it, it's something that uh defeats you it has you in a defeatist mindset um maybe growing up your home life wasn't the best with the four wands in reverse um there was lack of stability maybe structure or the structure came by way of abuse either sexually physically there was some abuse here somebody needs to talk about this but at the same time the universe is saying it's not the right time to approach the the uh, the accused, uh, the culprit, if you will. It's time for you to heal because you have to do that first, right? Imagine going in to confront, going in to confront someone about what they did to you or what they didn't do or blah 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 you know and you haven't done the healing work you're gonna be a mess you're gonna be a wreck you're gonna be a mess you know it's going to be a mess it's, it may even turn into a brawl you know so that's probably not the best um it's it's, it's not the right time says the universe it's not the best option do the healing work some of you are uninterested in doing the healing work um, because, I mean, it's going to bring up so much stuff, so many scars, six of cups. Um, there's lack of balance here. Some of you, your children could have been abused, sexually abused, um, and maybe you are 
not wanting to confront that. You're going to have to confront that um, so that you can move forward. Other people can move forward in the situation. Um, just moving forward. You can't go forward until you go backwards, says, you know, the universe. Some of you, off camera, what I got for you, somebody talks too much, talks on the phone too much, talks on the phone too much, or just talks too much altogether. Um, trauma bonding. You could be trauma bonding with a friend, family member, somebody, you know, it, it, it's so, you know, it's a test of, or a contest of who, who has the bigger issue. And it makes you comfortable with these people, this group of people, or this person, because you both have gone through something. And I don't know if that's the type of bonding you want to do. Um, hopefully trauma bonding then leads the both of you, both groups, or, or both parties to um, healing, to therapy. Um, somebody's a druggie, okay? Somebody does drugs, and they do drugs because they just don't want to do this. Doing drugs is easier than healing. You know, upright, it's heal, heal. Healing is the answer. I mean, come on. Somebody doesn't want to do this. This is hard, you know. Speaking from experience, it's hard, you know. And uh, somebody doesn't want to do it. And, um... Until they do it, they're just going to get negative outcomes. Also, some of you are dealing with some spoiled, rotten children, okay? If your children are spoiled, it's because of you. Um, when things are spoiled, what do we have to do with them? What do we tend to do with spoiled things? We throw them out, right? Um, so we don't want to spoil our, our children or any human being because they're going to be no good when something is spoiled it's no good um it has no value and um you don't want your children to be that and if you are a spoiled rotten child then you know that's how you could be coming off as having no value maybe because everything you know resorts back to you so you gotta again heal do some healing work um somebody's not interested in fixing the marriage Okay, um, we've got a yes and a no here. Um, there needs to be some deep healing work. You got meditation brings answers, and then you have the four of swords at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, it's definitely time to connect backwards so that you can go forwards because the six of cups talks about connecting backwards, going to your roots, rootedness. And then the Four of Swords talks about taking time to think about what is next. Um, futuristic uh, plans, thoughts. Take some time out to think about how you can heal. And this also talks about healing. Healing, restoration, rejuvenation. So um, definitely. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't get a whole bunch of love messages. But this is for somebody. I hope it resonates for you. I hope you do the work. Therefore, you can get better outcomes. You are this, the common denominator in all of your relationships, whether they are friendships, romantic, business, um, yeah, familiar. You know, you're the common denominator. No one else is showing up to your relationships but you. So if you're getting the same outcomes, it's time to start pointing those fingers back at you to see how you can fix you. Because if you fix you, right, and then you go back into relationship and you're still getting the same outcome. At least you can say, okay, so this isn't me. This is the other person or this is just the situation altogether or the circumstances. Therefore, I need to remove myself because I've done the healing work. But if you got, if you haven't done the healing work and you go into different situations and you get the same outcome, it's because of you. Sorry. There's your free therapy right there that's just a start but um take care of cancer all links are below to, if you want to get your own personal reading uh ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel if you feel like you took something from the reading you could get back thank you many blessings to you